There was once a young boy who moved from England to the other side of the world with his family. The boy soon became a young man who dreamed of becoming a star on stage or in the movies. That was difficult to achieve. So instead, he became a teacher. His creative side remained and he decided to leave teaching and took up pottery and painting while working jobs like a delivery man, a salesman and a call centre consultant to name just a few. The man discovered a love for computers and on the internet he discovered YouTube where he met amazing and creative men and women. He learned a lot and worked long hours to improve his YouTube skills. He now shares his love of YouTube with other people. I am that man. I am Aussie Mark. So here's the tool that I made that little video with. It's very simple and, and I'm not going to lie to you, it's a free whiteboards tool, yes, but it has very limited um, capabilities. Nonetheless, um, if you're looking for uh, a whiteboards tool, it's got some facilities available to it, um, enough to do what I just did, then um, yeah, at least you know that it's completely free. It's an online tool, so it's not something you download and you will need a screen capture tool if you want to actually um, film it. So it's called the JS Writing Tool and it's by um, progur.com um, and there's the web address for you, um, progur.com forward slash animation tool forward slash hash for some reason. <laughs> So basically, uh, it comes when you open this screen. It basically has a, some help instructions that you can read through at a later date for yourself. And really, um, the limitations are quite significant. All you can do with this tool is put in um, text and some icons. And it's the icons that you saw me use in the video. So for example, if I want to add a graphic, uh, sorry, let's start with some text. If I want to add some text, I just simply click on text. And as you can see there, this just um, gives me a box that says new text. Uh, to change that, I simply double click on it. That, now I can just write in here anything that I want. So for example, you know, um, welcome to my channel, for example. Let's see, welcome to my channel. And then you can, there's some things you can put here. You can put in delays, for example. Um, you can put in uh, increments for each letter. Um, and you can put in, uh, change the size, change the font, and you can change the color. So let's do some of those just to see what it looks like. So if I put in, I'll just change this capital to a capital. Okay, so if I just hit update, as you can see, it says welcome to my channel. I change the um, fonts, the font, um, there's only, as you can see, about five fonts, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fonts. The font awesome doesn't work because that's for the icons. Um, so if I went to, for example, Roboto and hit update, that's what that one looks like. And you can try the other ones out for yourself. Um, in terms of the size, Remember I clicked on small text, but you can just change this to any size you like. So I mean, I could change that to 70, for example, double the size. And as you can see, that doubles the size up there. So um, these other two, the delays and the increments, for those you actually need to have a look at uh, how it plays. So to do the play, we'll just close that. We'll hit the play button. And as you can see, it comes up with a blank screen. You actually have to hit enter to make it play. And as you can see, it writes at that speed. 
So you can make the speed changes by putting in um, those uh, increments or delays. So you saw how fast that was. Let's escape out of that. So let's go back into the tool and we'll try and change the increments um, and see if that makes a difference. So let's put in the delay for example. Let's do that first. We'll try that one. Let's put in five here and see if we can notice the difference. So if we update that, you see nothing's actually changed. But if you play, noticing any difference? I'm not. So let's get out of that. We'll stop that. So let's make that bigger and see what see if it makes any difference. Let's put in 50 and see how that goes. Update that. Close it. And play that. Now you can really notice a difference. It's slowed down a lot, hasn't it? So there you go. That's one thing you can do to change the speed. And some other features that you'll notice on, let's go through some of the other available tools. So as I said, text, really the text is just um, small, medium and large, but you can start with any of them. And as you just saw, you can change the size of the text. Um, to add graphics, we simply go into here and it says pick a font family. I'm assuming that when the creators made this, they were hoping to add lots of font families. But in reality, there's actually only one. This material one doesn't work at the moment. And uh, font awesome is the only one that works. And as you can see, it basically just gives you um, a whole selection of icons and um, you can scroll through and play and look at those in your own time. Uh, if we select any one of them, um, let, let's say, for example, that we uh, want to draw this film one. So click on it, hit add, that throws it up to there. And then I can just get out of that and move this one around wherever I want to. Now, um, the things I can do with this one, again, just like the text, I can change the delay that slows down the drawing. Um, the increment um, we haven't looked at yet, but I'm gonna let you play with that on your own. You can change the size, of course. So let's change this down to 120, for example, and you'll notice that it's shrunk. So um, you can obviously make that bigger or smaller at your leisure. And you can change the font color, the, uh, the color. It applies as well to the font um, and to the text as it does to the icons. So if we actually move this down here, um, you know, you can change that to anything you like. Let's change it to purple, for example. And just hit update, and there you go. And then we would add more, um, if you wanted to add more text like I did, Let's go back and just throw in some extra text, for example. We'll click on large text this time, and you can see that's not even as large as the one I scaled up. Um, and so we'll just quickly make that something. Let's say, um, thanks for being here. And how about we make that um, different color? Let's go with uh, this one. And we might change the font on that too, hey? Let's change the font to play ball and see what that looks like. Update. Thanks for being here. There you go. That's in cursive. So we'll get out, or maybe I'll give a capital letter to the T and update that. That's better. So now, it, um, again, as far as the limitations go, there really is a severe limitation here. When you play, it only plays them in the order that you inserted them onto this page. So um, if you insert, happen to insert, insert this text, for example, before the icon, it, it's going to play it that way. You won't be able to change the order after you've added things in. To delete each um, thing, you just, make, you just um, click on it and then go into there and hit delete and that'll delete it off altogether. If you need to make some adjustments there. So if you want to add another page, just click on pages and you put in um, create page, click a second page. And then as you see, I've already created a second page there. If I clicked on that, it would be blank because I haven't done anything there yet. But um, we're gonna go back to this one. So you can add pages and um, move from one to the other. Just remember you can't, um, you can't move from animation, one animation to the next unless you hit enter. So unfortunately, that's one of the downsides to this as well. But let's just go back and um, play this one so we can see how, we, how we're going.
So you can have multiple pages on this tool, much like in any PowerPoint presentation, and I guess there are a lot of similarities between this and that. If you hit pages, you can create another page like that, for example. Um, whoops, like that, for example, should I say. And uh, then you've got, well, we've now got three pages, and you can click on each page individually to go back to where you were. And when you play, it'll always play from the beginning and then go move from page to page. So we'll go back to page one and um, close that. Now I must remember to actually change the settings on this. Remember how slow this was? Let's put that back to five. In fact, let's put it back to one the way it was. And we'll update that. And um, so I also um, need to mention the limitation of um, only playing each animation after you hit enter. So you've got to remember to hit enter each time. Uh, it will work if you hit enter while playing the previous animation and will automatically remember to play the next one after that. So um, let's just have a look at how this goes. That's about it, except for the screen recording, which of course is um, something that you can do in any number of tools you can get from the internet. I personally use uh, a screen recorder called iSpring, which is free, and I'll put the link to that in the description. And of course you could use Camtasia, Cam Studio, or any of the other screen recorders um, out there, just Google screen recorders and you'll find one that I'm sure you like. So let's just play this quickly. We'll hit the play button and there we go. We still have to hit enter, otherwise it just won't start. So enter and there we go. Now it's drawing away as quick as we can. No option to change hands in this one either, by the way, like there is on most um, whiteboard uh, software tools. Hit enter again and then hit enter again and it'll go straight into the last one. So that's basically it. And as it says there right on the screen, welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. I'm Aussie Mark. Take care. I hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.